It's a software industry icon. Uh, N.R. Narayana Muthri uh, said that nothing should be given free and suggested people availing services and subsidies provided by the government should be made to contribute back for the betterment of the society. The Enforcer's co-founder also said that compassionate capitalism is the only solution for a poor country like India to become a prosperous nation. If I have to pay a higher level of taxation, I'm, I'm quite happy because it's only, I mean, Priyank is here, it's only people like him who will have to say, how is it, how can we provide the best services for the poor people, however, when you provide those services, when you provide those subsidies, there must be something in return that they are willing to do. For example, if you say, I will give you free electricity, then it would have been a very nice thing for the government to have said, but we want to see the, the uh, percentage attendance in schools, uh, uh, in a primary schools and middle schools to go by 20%. Then only we will give you that. In other words, nothing should be given free but there should be a contribution of the citizen also towards making our society a better society. While I am not against free uh, uh, services being provided, I think we should expect something in return from those people who receive those free subsidies to take a slightly bigger responsibility to making their future generation, their own future generation, their own children, their own grandchildren better in terms of going to school, you know, performing better, etc. Et That's what I mean. My colleague Deepak is joining us uh, on this. Deepak, at a time when we have been seeing how there has been a war of words over freebie uh, between the BJP and the Congress as well as other opposition parties as well. We have Infosys founder himself coming out and rather pitching for a compassionate capitalism. Yes, uh, you know, he, he was uh, speaking uh, during the Bangalore uh, Tech Summit. Uh, he, uh, there was a fire of a fire side uh, chat where uh, he goes on to speak about uh, the taxation and then uh, starts to refer to uh, free uh, items being given to the citizens and says that even, for example, the free electricity that the government provides, uh, he says it would be better uh, if they expect something in return from uh, the citizens uh, so that they contribute uh, back uh, in terms of probably uh, them compulsively ensuring that their children attend school or anything of that sort so, so that there is active participation uh, from the recipients of anything that is given free as well. Um, now, while, of course, the Congress government in Karnataka has been advocating for the uh, five guarantees and uh, has been talking about how essential it is uh, for the people, especially the poor, and even uh, taking uh, these, uh, you know, the uh, guarantees to other states as well. And we've uh, seen how uh, they have, of course, been promoting it even in uh, pole bound uh, Telangana and the uh, various other states. Uh, now, uh, you know, somebody, the stature of Mr. Narayan Murthy talking about, uh, you know, this has put uh, uh, the government in a spot of bother. We'll really have to see the kind of reactions that come in from the state government. Right. Of course, uh, we are waiting uh, political reactions over the same. Uh, but it is to be seen if it is time for all those parties who are extending freebies to take a cue from the statement because we have often heard, in fact, the BJP also criticizing the freebie uh, politics that has been going on. All right, Deepak, I'll come back to you. Uh, P.K. Basu, who is an economist, is joining us over the phone line. Mr. Basu, good morning and thank you for joining us. Uh, this statement coming in from Infosys founder, rather focusing on a compassionate capitalism. What is your take when it comes to freebies, which are often being announced by our political parties? Well, I, I think uh, freebies, uh, there, are, there are two ways of looking at freebies. Uh, uh, some freebies are necessary uh, as a form of uh, social engineering, uh, but uh, freebies, uh, as they're called, should not be handed out unless the state or the uh, or the or the central government can afford it. Uh, and of course, we have persistent fiscal deficits at both the state and and uh, central level, uh, and uh, and hence. 
continuing with with freebies when uh, when those deficits are still rather large is uh, is at least fiscally imprudent but uh you know why, why it's it's uh, difficult to disagree with the idea that freebies need to be curtailed uh and need to be better directed at uh at parts of society that really need those freebies and Mr. Bazo, how can the parties take cue from these suggestions which have often been pouring in? Because we know when it comes to freebie, it is of course a double-edged sword. Now we have uh, another founder coming in and saying that nothing should be free, rather there should be something in return, uh, which is going to bring a balance in the working mechanism of the society. Yeah, I mean... Uh... From a from an economic standpoint, that, that makes complete sense. Uh, nothing should be free, uh, so that so that uh, users are aware of the cost of the cost and particularly the opportunity cost of using uh, what they are using. So whether it's uh, whether it's water or uh, uh, electricity or uh, food grain there must be uh, at least some cost paid by all users so that they recognize that um, uh, that limitless use is is not possible uh, and uh, that 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 we are all dealing with scarce resources all right thank you mr basu for joining and sharing your views so this is what uh, the latest development happening wherein the economists uh, themselves have to say that there has to be a line between welfare and freebie in order to maintain a balance in the working mechanisms of our society but for the meantime let's